Hello and welcome to this aerial yoga tutorial on the Ohm Active Aerial Yoga Hammock. I'm so excited to be here. I'm Margie Parji, the aerial yoga goddess, and we have some awesome moves to help you with your flexibility, to become more bendy, and to find inner peace, to relax, to feel good. So you want your fabric to be right about at your hips, slightly higher than your hips, right about at your sacrum. It's not recommended to do aerial yoga if you are pregnant, have glaucoma, high or low blood pressure, or suffer from motion sickness. So be careful if something seems too hard, make sure you have a spot and stay safe. We'll go ahead and start off in a child's pose. So knees come wide, as wide as your mat, and start to walk your hands forward, letting your third eye ground to the floor. <sighs> Just taking a nice, big, deep breath in through your nose. And a big, deep breath out through your mouth. Making any adjustments in your hips, your knees, grounding your fingertips into the earth, and allowing your energy to settle into your practice. Allow your energy to grow deep, deep down, connecting you to the core center of the earth. Letting your hips melt, letting your shoulders drip down your back, letting your jaw be heavy, maybe bringing one cheek to the mat, just breathing, deep inhale, deep exhale. Deep inhale, deep exhale. You can turn your cheek to the other side if that feels good. Can Bring your palms together in prayer. Bring them up and over so that they rest right at the back of your neck. Wherever you are, you're breathing, feeling into your body. Allowing any feelings to arise and just breathing them in with full acceptance, loving them, forgiving them, and exhaling to release them. Right here in this moment is perfect, it's beautiful, and you've arrived on your mat. Nice and slow, we'll start to come up into a tabletop. Knees are under the hips, wrists are under the shoulders. And then we'll walk the feet up to the top of the mat. So knees are wide, toes are slightly off the mat. You're on your heels and your hands come to heart center. If this is too much, you can come to your toes. Malasana, yogi squat. And just breathe. Set an intention for your practice. How do you want to feel? What do you want to create today? What do you deeply desire in your life? Nice and slow, we'll start to come up and bring your arms out wide into a big V star pose. Open it up. And then slowly come back down to a squat. Exhale. 
Inhale, big reach, open it up, star pose. Exhale, yogi squat. Inhale, star. Exhale, yogi squat. Breathing, inhale, big reach back up to the sky. Exhale, yogi squat. Big inhale, reach, open through the heart, open through the chest. Exhale, yogi squat. Inhale, reach the arms up, point the palms to the sky, call in whatever it is you deeply desire. Exhale, yogi squat. Keep breathing. Pressing the knees open, pulling the shoulder blades down the back, tucking the chin. We'll inhale, big reach up. Bringing the feet together. Exhale, heart center, pause. Feel your toes connected to the earth. Feel your palms pressing together. Feel your heartbeat, squeeze your glutes, pull your thighs together, toes rooted, crown of the head connected to the sky. You are here on purpose with a purpose. Tap into that calling. Breathe space into your body. We'll go ahead and make our way so that we're behind the fabric. Go slow, move with intention. We'll find the bottom of the fabric like a little trapeze, bringing that right leg up and over. We're gonna bring it right at the knee. We're gonna come onto the ball of the back foot. We're gonna grab the top handles then we're going to sink the hips forward. We're going to let the head hang back if the neck allows. We're going to sink the hips forward. We want to stay strong in that back leg. Want to keep squeezing the thighs together, rolling the shoulder blades down the back. Face relaxes, chin relaxes, jaw relaxes. Breathing. Slow, deep breaths, breathing into those beautiful hips. Hips are nice and square. We use the upper body, the core, the legs to pull us back up to standing. We're going to pull that right leg out of the fabric as gracefully as you can. We'll 
We'll make it small like a trapeze and pull that left leg up and over right at the knee. Grab up onto the high handles. And just sink the hips forward. Ah, big exhale. We're on the ball of that back foot. We're squeezing the thighs together. We're strong in the back leg. You can let your head hang back if that feels good. Open through your chest. Relax your hands and don't forget to breathe. Big breath in. Big breath out. Allowing yourself to totally melt into the pose and feel your body. Big inhale. Big exhale. Big inhale. Big exhale. Big inhale. Slowly pulling your thighs together, coming all the way up. Grab down low on the fabric. Start to pull your leg up and out. Shake your hips a bit. Grabbing the fabric right about shoulder width. We'll take that right leg back up and over. This time we're going to rock that back foot open so it is perpendicular to that front foot. Go ahead and weave that right arm through and then down in front of the right knee. Left arm reaches to the sky into a big T. Trikonasana in a triangle pose. We're going to look up to that left hand. Fingers are active. We're not just sinking down our upper body into the right knee. We're actively using the core to make a triangle between the armpit and the thigh. We're really strong in the back leg. We're pressing those back toes into the earth. We're breathing. Staying active throughout the whole body. Everything squeezing to the midline. Everything activated. Strong. Nice and slow. We'll grab up with that left hand onto the left side of the fabric. Bring it through. And we're in warrior two. We look over that right hand. Palms face down. Gaze is strong. We're breathing. Should feel a little shaking in that right leg. Shouldn't be easy. Wherever you are, spiral into your power, into your strength. Deep breaths. We'll grab up onto the high handles. Pull the knees together. Pull the thighs together. Come back to stand. Grab low in the hammock and pull that right leg up. Just shake it out a little bit. Press your hands forward, take an assisted downward facing dog. And then we'll take that left leg up and over, right at the knee, setting up for that warrior two on the left side. Left hand comes through, palms face down. We're pulling the thighs together. We're gazing over that left hand. 
and that right foot is perpendicular to the front foot so the hips are open and strong and we're breathing nowhere to be but right here right now in our body and listening listening to our body and then we'll start to take that left hand down inside that left knee right hand comes to the sky Trikonasana, triangle pose we're not collapsing onto that knee we're lifting through the core we're letting the hips sink down and that back foot is strong open the fingers wide activate your hands mm, big breath in Big breath out. Allowing yourself to maybe move a little bit side to side. Finding that gentle flow that feels so good. Nice cleansing deep breath. Start to come up nice and slow, grabbing for the high handles. Rotate back to the ball, pull yourself up. Take that left leg out. And we will be standing right behind the fabric. We'll take that right knee, place it into the hammock and then grab up we're gonna sit down almost like a pigeon pose you should feel this in your hips option to have that foot hanging the bottom foot hanging or rooted whatever feels good for you we're holding on to the high handles option to bring the elbows through And lean forward almost like you're hugging that knee hands come to heart center just breathe space into your hips into your quads big breath in big breath out Big breath in, big breath out. Relax your face, relax your body. Allow yourself to be. that intention what was that intention you set at the beginning of class how do you want to feel today what do you want to create Grab up with that left hand. 
and then the right. And pull that right knee out. Shake it out. Shake the body out. Make the hammock nice and small like a little trapeze. And we'll take the other knee in. Grab up high. Start to bring the upper body weight on top of that knee. Option to bring the arms through. That feels good. Palms to heart center. Sit tall. slow intentional breath <sighs> breathing space into the legs into the heart into the back all the different spots in the spine. Chin is tucked. Option to get a little rock here. A little bit side to side. We'll grab up onto the fabric or the high handles whenever you're ready. Bringing that leg out of the fabric. Shake it out. Coming forward into that downward facing assisted. Just shake it out side to side a couple times. Take that right foot, bring it into the hammock to the side. So we want to pull that knee in and then spread the fabric wide. So we're coming into like a standing assisted pigeon pose. So the fabric should open up once you got that foot right in the center. Foot is flexed. Knee comes into the hammock. Back foot's nice and rooted. We'll bring the arms through just like the last pose or stay standing, whatever is in your practice, whatever feels good. Rocking the hips forward. Nice deep breaths. We should get nice and deep into that IT band. If you're standing, you can just let your head melt forward. Maybe you want to lean back a little bit and let your head hang wherever you are. Your foot is flexed to protect your knee. slow deep breath you want to find where it just stretches you a little bit more than your edge and stay there Big inhales, 
big exhales. We'll go ahead and slowly pull that right leg out, shake the legs out, take that left foot in, same thing, foot goes all the way into the fabric, knee comes out to the back side, but it wraps all the way into the material. And then you can either grab up onto the handles, you can grab up onto the sides. If you're open enough in the hips, you can rock your upper body forward and bring your hands to heart center. Wherever you are, foot is flexed, hips are square, and you are breathing. Back foot is nice and rooted, strong. Option to get that little rock side to side if that feels good. Smile because you're looking at the coast of California. <laughs> Imagining the waves crashing, feeling that ocean air on your face, the sun on your face. Big inhales, big exhales. couple breaths. We'll slowly start to come up, straightening out that leg, pulling out the left leg from the fabric. Mm. We'll grab the hammock down low, taking that right leg in at the ankle this time. So we're going to keep the toes pointed. Hips are square. We're on the ball of the back foot. We're going to get into the splits now. So you can grab onto the high handles or you can grab onto the hammock, whatever feels good. And we're going to start to move the hips forward and back. Breathing, inhaling on, exhaling on the way down and inhaling on the way up option to stay in that split for as long as you'd like but warm it up a few times exhale forward inhale up exhale forward inhale up Option to open through the chest and let your head hang back. Breathing space into your hamstrings. Not going too far. Being so, so intentional with those hamstrings. We'll take the left leg and lean back. 
right leg is going to come out. We're going to stay on the ball of that right leg. Hips are square. Toes point forward. Start to lean the hips forward. Exhale. Inhale up to stand. Exhale to drop the hips open. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Inhale up, using that upper body with the handles at the top, if you need it. Really seeing where that edge is. Going just a tiny bit deeper than you've gone before. And breathing space into that area of the hips. We don't want to feel any tingling or numbness. If anything really truly hurts, not just challenges you, you want to come out. Go ahead and take that right leg in, take a seat, just for funsies. And then we'll come out and around. We're going to bring the fabric behind us. Arms are going to come through. Then we're going to slide the hands down the back. So that the thumbs are tucked in the fabric. You want it to come right at your sacrum. So that's area right above your glutes. Above the booty. As you lean back, you want to bring your legs wide. So your legs going wide is what's going to keep you safe. It's what's going to keep you in the hammock. And then we're going to bring our feet around and in front and hook them on into our basic inversion. Let your arms hang heavy. Relax. Grab your elbows and just hang out. Just breathe. We're making space in the spine. We're lengthening the spine. It's basically a chiropractic session and a massage. Plus yoga all in one. The fabric is giving your hip flexors a massage. All the blood is going to your brain, so you are cleansing the lymphatic system. Making your immune system much stronger. Clearing out all the junk from the day. Allowing your mind to relax. So that you can see that big vision more clearly. And tap into what you truly need. So don't forget to breathe here. Come up if you need to at any time. We'll be here just a little bit longer. Nice, slow, deep breath. Two more big breaths in. Take the legs out wide. Interlace the hands behind your back. Point and flex your toes. Spread your toes wide. Option to grab your calves, your thighs, maybe your feet, your toes. Take it a little further.
Last couple breaths here. To come out, we'll bring the legs nice and wide. Grab up onto both sides of the fabric. So use the core to pull yourself up. And we'll come all the way to a stand. <sighs> you might feel a little dizzy or lightheaded. If you do, you want to bring yourself down to the ground into child's pose. If you feel okay, you can grab for the lower handles. Drop down to your knees. And slowly start to melt your chest forward. Head can hang heavy or look up. Wherever you are, you want your shoulder blades to be pulling down your back to protect your shoulders. You can start to move your hips side to side. If your shoulders are open, you can bend your elbows. Otherwise, keep your arms nice and straight. Practice looking up, exhaling to look to your belly button, <sighs> however your body wants to move. Big breath in, big breath out. If you want to take this further, you can drop your hips all the way to the earth. Look up to the sky. Press your toes into the mat. Maybe get a little rock side to side. Core is engaged. Shoulder blades are pulling down the back and we're breathing. Do not forget to breathe. When you're ready, we'll use the upper body strength to pull us back up. If you need to come out, come out. Otherwise, we'll be here just a few more breaths. Coming up whenever you're ready. Come into child's pose. Drop the head down. Knees come out wide. Arms rest forward. You can rock to one cheek. If your shoulders are open, you can come to the chin. Most important part is that you just rest. Bring the energy back down to the ground after being in flight. We'll start to make our way up nice and slow into tabletop. Maybe wiggling your hips side to side or shaking your head out. Come up to the knees. Grab onto the fabric. So we're going to splay it out. And take a seat. So we're going to turn forward in front of the fabric. Grab onto the edges. We're gonna bunch it up about four times, so make sure you have the edge. Press down. As you press down, you're going to 
bend your knees and jump up pull your knees to your chest and take a seat into the fabric we're going to bring the arms and the head back so it's covering all the way from the middle of the back down to right at the mid thigh you're going to lean back and if this feels good you can start to reach towards the ankles bow pose Urdhva Dhanurasana you're going to keep pressing your feet into your hands core is tight and opening through your chest head hangs heavy relax breathe you shouldn't feel easy to breathe but we're opening up the spine we're opening up the heart chakra can wiggle your toes letting any tension in the back just melt away nice slow intentional breaths big breath in Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. We'll slowly start to bring the legs out. Why? And you can hook the right foot around in front bring that left leg behind you reach for your ankle press your foot into the hands inverted pigeon pose you should feel a nice stretch all along the top of that left thigh and your lower back your quad your IT band We're getting the benefits of inversion as well as, I think, the deepest hip opener. Mm. Big breath in. Big breath out. We'll release that leg nice and slow when you're ready. We'll bring the other leg back behind you. So around and back, grab that ankle. <sighs> Pushing that foot into the hands and totally relaxing. Breathing into your hips. Breathing into that IT band. Breathing space into your shoulders and your spine. Just allowing every muscle in your body to totally relax. Big breath in. Big breath out. slowing down the central nervous system. It's the perfect time to talk to your subconscious, the deeper part of you is in charge of all of your beliefs, your motivation, your inspiration. 
tell it those intentions and those big dreams. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. We'll release both legs out wide. Grabbing onto the long handles. So make sure that the legs come out wide to keep us safe. We're going to hook them back on. And then we're going to take and look back behind us as we press into the handles like a big push up for Superman. Pressing yourself all the way up. Letting your feet come out wide. Spread your toes. Smile. You are flying. <laughs> Option to hang out here. Do some push-ups. Testing your strength. Working those triceps. If you feel safe, you can spread your fingers wide. Keeping that core super tight to protect your lower back. Maybe you bend the knees and try to reach them towards your head. In our seal pose, so you look up, look back, and reach the toes. Breathe. And then we'll slowly come down, bend your elbows, keep the legs wide, and then slowly start to come back to our inversion. And then we can start to reach up onto the hammock whenever you're ready, bringing yourself up to a seat. grab on about eye level and just hop down onto the ground. Taking a seat all the way down, grounding that energy back down. Grab onto the long handles and insert the feet in. So we want to point the toes out to make sure they stay in. laying on our back, putting our feet straighten out towards the sky. Letting the arms come down and just relaxing your whole body down to the ground. Sometimes it takes a couple tries to get the feet in there. <laughs> can bring the hands up and overhead. You can bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Maybe you just relax down, however it feels good. Arms out in a T. Just breathe, feel the earth beneath you. Feel how the earth supports you, holds you. Big breath in, big breath out. Hmm. Take a nice big breath in. 
Bring the hands down to the ground, right by the hips. We're gonna lift the hips to the sky. Big breath in as you push your heels down into the handles, squeezing your booty, squeezing your core, engaging every part of your leg so you're pulling your legs together. Big breath in. Big breath out. Big breath in. Big breath out. Your legs are probably gonna start shaking. You wanna keep rooting down through your shoulders. Make sure not to move your head side to side. Just a little bit longer. Yeah, and relax. We're gonna bring the feet out of the hammock option to take Baddha Konasana or do a little twist or anything that your body needs before our final resting pose. And when you're ready to rest, I want you to take and roll your shoulder blades underneath your back, turn your head side to side, wiggle your toes, and just totally relax your body. Empty your mind, just focusing on that space underneath your eyelids. When thoughts start to roll in, just allow them to pass by. Not making them a thing, not going into the story of it, but just coming back to your body, coming back to your breath, and coming back to this space, this presence. Let yourself rest for the next few minutes. Whenever you're ready, you can start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Just bringing yourself back to this present moment. And just allowing yourself to move slowly today. Placing your hand on your heart and coming back to your intention. So grateful to be here and share my practice with all of you guys. So honored. Namaste.